guys, this is Carl the Great of Amazing Wizard Studios. Welcome to Season 1, Episode 7 of Let's Play BeamNG Drive on the PC. Guess what we'll be doing this time around. We'll be... Going to the racetrack on the West Coast. To do something. I'm not sure that'll tell you what we're gonna do. Yep, we're going to... Like we're not at the racetrack, but... And we're gonna start comparing the drive trains. First, we'll get a rear-wheel drive car. Didn't want to go with track cars. This, yeah, actually, we'll we'll go on the highway over here first. First, yeah, we're gonna start getting a rear-wheel drive car. I first forget the. We'll get the the Bishop Yak series. We'll get the Diana type LS for the manual transmission. Yeah, to prove that this is real drive, we'll go into the specific configuration. Hit, click on performance. See it says down here RWD, which stands for rear wheel drive. It's like, no, this is rear wheel drive. See, start back here. See, like, we were in this case, we we're prone to oversteer, so that's why we just spun out. I'll try again. Overseas, that's when we spun out again. Like I said earlier in the last play, you want to avoid oversteer and understeer. See, it took the turn too fast.
Yeah, I think we should get the Rocko Moon Hawk. Alright. Like, yeah, I'll get the Rocko Moon Hawk because that's, that's not. Okay, let's try the Bishu Miramar GTZ. an S0. Let's try this with a front wheel drive car. Let's try to buckle the ground. Actually, let's try to solely add went over it. Thing. If, if there's too much wheel spin, then we have the second gear trip when we shift from first to second. It's like what we did. Yeah, but in front wheel drive is prone to understeer. Like that, see? Let's try this again.
That's pretty good to run. What happens if nothing could happen if we don't do it well? But we did break one of our headlights and a, a, a fog light in our right parking lights. Yeah, we yeah there was damage to the hood. Yes, obviously damage to the bumper. There's also damage to the, the fender, the hood, and the axle so is da damage too. So it's not even straight anymore. Let's check the the hood. Then we see if the hood evil even functions properly. Let's. Open this up. Yeah, it still latches, but it doesn't close flush against the car anymore because of the uh, of the dam. It was the form when we hit the wall. Now it's going to all-wheel drive car. Now let's get the Hirochi. Yeah, no, and let's get the. Yeah, let's go to the Hiroshi Sunburst. Anyway. Turn off electronic stability control. Now he's. It's much better now, like the front wheel drive and our wheel drive. Rear wheel drive, excuse me. Offers better traction than the auto offers better traction in both front wheel drive and rear wheel drive, so it's especially used so, and it's therefore especially useful in, in, in bad weather in you know, unpaved roads. So that was pretty good. See, let's try this again. Yeah, we, we didn't do well the launch, but that matches. How we handled this car? Nope. Let's try it again. That's not good enough. Let's try this again. That was 3,000 RPM, and around we launched around 3,000 RPM.
Now let's let's see what's four wheel drive. Like in this case, let's get an individual hopper. Uh -huh. get an off road focus model now with a manual transmission because I heard swear. Like yeah, we're gonna compare the options now. We now we just is too high. It's just high again with only the rear wheels driven. Of course, this is this we should be in when when driving a four wheel vehicle on on normal conditions. Spun out. That's just for high. Burn that with too high, let's try to do it, high, but we can because the rear wheels are also engaged now. None, that's just far low. I reached the red line faster now. Like yeah, according to ratchets and wrenches on a typical four dress system, you should only use you should use too high under normal conditions, and then and then, but you can use four high under slippery conditions. We need more traction, like. Like when it rains or on on paper. Was. Meanwhile, your four low is only meant for extreme conditions, like off road, like off roading. Now that's again, that's according to the YouTube channel Ratchets and Wrenches. Let me have the rear differential over here. All right, let's take this vehicle to. Okay, we're now at the, on on the east coast. Let's change the UI apps. Let's uh, add the pitch and roll apps first. And so, since these are important for, for when we try try the usefulness of four wheel drive low range, let's get the roll app too. All now, let's get the navigation app. In the pedals and axis app, pedals and axis make it nighttime mode. It'll be evening time, so. Turn the headlights now. So right now we're 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 only on dry pavement, so we'll start off in too high. It's not too slow either, so we'll go we'll go easy in the throttle for now. Let's go here, put it on in 
you gotta be starting to line up, put in, in two, four high. Just walk around since we're just not gonna be that much, that too intensive off roading, so it's only on some, on some dirt and grass right now. I'll put it in, back in too high. Yeah, put your park it stop here for now. Put the big lock difference, put it in four low. Let's do this. Shift, shift. I'm trying to get right now. and off-road trail. So that's right, everything flew in it. I should have taken that more easily, but yeah. And yeah, like I said, because... Let's try again. That's going downwards. That we did clear that one pretty quite pretty, quite well, thankfully. That's bad off road trail for some for enough because this is enough difficulty, I would say.
watch the replay. It is. Now we're slowing down. Yeah. Yeah, that was some off-road fun. All right, that's about it. Don't forget. Yeah, yeah. This concludes season one, episode seven of Let's Play Beam and G Drive on the PC. Don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, comment future content. Also, forget to follow Music with us through social media. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when you post new videos. This is Carl the Great of Amazing Wizards 3 saying out. Peace.